guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas. I had to skip a couple of days of vlogging. Not that you guys would have known, I could have just blazed on through it, but I wanted to be honest. With Vlogmas, I obviously film, um, I'm still vlogging day to day. I just vlog a couple of days ahead of what I need to. Because of reasons like this, I wanted to give myself breathing room in case I fell ill, in case for some reason, I, you can't, you know, we can't look into the future. I can't foresee what will happen on each day. However, I'm now back down to the wire because I had to skip a couple of days of vlogging completely. Blocked nose, coughing, the works, just your standard cold, not COVID, thankfully. Oh, it really knocked me about. I lost my appetite with it. Yeah, I wasn't feeling great. Now I feel, I'm almost there. I'm almost at the side of it, but I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit, a little bit of a croak still. I have to keep stopping and coughing, but I feel better. I feel well enough to vlog in myself, but so the last you will have seen me was at Katie Loxton. Well, at the Katie Loxton event. Such a lovely time, by the way. It's so nice. All of the girls there, amazing. Alana, um, who I was with there a lot. I've met her um, before. We are friends sort of off, off the social media scene as well. She is so lovely. And I met the lovely Hannah Adkins for the first time. Um, maybe some of you guys watch her YouTube channel as well. I don't know. If not, then go and give her a watch. I believe she's doing Vlogmas as well. Um, so lovely to meet her as well. I love it when you can meet someone from YouTube. And I feel like this year, rather over the last 12 months, because I have been attending more events and I've had time to do more things, I have really had the pleasure of meeting more people. And I love it when you meet someone and you can just click instantly, especially when you work in the same industry, because I'm not going to lie to you guys, there's, there's people in the industry that you don't always click with and you think, oh God. But it's, that's why it's so nice when you meet someone that you do click with. And yeah, Hannah was absolutely lovely. Um, so yeah. Big shout out to her on her channel because yeah, we had such, such a laugh and me, Hannah and um, Alana have actually uh, booked to meet up again in the new year once the craziness of Christmas is over. But I'll tell you more about that in the new year because that will be a very, very fun day. But anyway, back to it today, back to normality. I have a couple of things to unbox with you that I received um, while I was away, while I was ill, so I thought I'd do that with you now. And I also thought I'd go through with you some ideas for Christmas Day outfits, because I do get asked a lot what I wear. But first, I do have one very special unboxing to do, and that is the doggies' Christmas cards. Yes, they're Christmas cards. Now, Andy's mum and dad have kindly sent them a Christmas card, so... If your family, if you are as bonkers as we are, and you also give your pets Christmas cards, then let me know. But these ones are extra special, and this is why I wanted to show them to you, because I think this is such a great idea. But let me open them, and I'll tell you more about them then. Now, if anyone thinks I might be a little bit mad um, <laughs> with the whole Christmas cards and um, giving a Christmas card to my dog thing, they actually get a Christmas uh, stocking on Christmas Day as well and Christmas presents to open. And yeah, they genuinely get very excited about it as well. Like, I I mean, I'm not going to be filming Christmas Day, obviously, but I'm so tempted to actually just film the dogs opening their stockings and their presents because I feel like it's one of those things that you won't believe it unless you see it. There's genuine excitement. They sit by their little pile of presents and they wait to be told that they can open them. It's hilarious and the cutest thing ever. But anyway, Christmas cards for the dogs. There is a reason I've sat you down here, by the way, and I'm going to open them on camera. So, I've got one for Desi and one for Bolly from Grandma and Grandpa and his mum and dad. So I'm going to open Desi's first. So, we open it up. Oh my God. Oh wow. Oh my God, oh, so there's nothing in there. Oh my gosh. So, this is the card. It says Merry Christmas, obviously, but the entire card is edible. So you just feed this to your dog, completely edible, absolutely fine. 
what's it say on the back eat this card now or save it for later but take lots of pics hashtag scoff paper so that's where the card is from if you are interested scoff paper Desi and Molly are actually in their beds I'm surprised they're not here because they've heard me talking should we see if they like their Christmas cards let me um let me open Bollies really quick and then we'll give them their cards together oh my god these are so cute oh, right let's give them to the pups and see if the dogs like them doggies i have a little present for you desi seeing as you're always stealing the post out of the letterbox uh bolly you go in your bed go in your bed i've got one for you but you wait in your bed uh, uh, in your bed good boy you wait you wait there desi this one is for you Oh, she says, oh, thank you, Mommy. Bolly, these one's for you. Here you go, eat it. Usually takes Bolly a little bit to learn. <laughs> Darling, you got to eat it. No, there's no more. You eat it in there. She's like, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I think Bolly's actually worked it out before Desi. Oh, my gosh. I'm not sure if this is good or bad for encouraging you to steal the post out of the letterbox. <laughs> oh, she's got it. What do you think about that? Is that nice? Molly, are you enjoying it? Oh, yeah. It's like, oh my gosh, is this nice? Oh, he's chewing it. <laughs> what do you think about that, darling? He's wagging his tail. Desi, is that nice? Is that nice? This is very sustainable Christmas cards, isn't it? Very sustainable. I don't know why I keep asking you, like, you're going to answer me. Bolly, you're ploughing through yours. Well, I think that was a success, guys. There we go. No waste in this house. Dog is eating their Christmas cards. Are those Christmas cards a bit more fun? Huh? A bit more fun? <laughs> Bolly's loving them. So, in the spirit of keeping things Christmassy, I thought I would do my unboxings with you. Down here in the living room, I made myself a little um, sandwich for lunch. Yesterday we got in a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> rotisserie chicken. <laughs> rotisserie chicken. And we've got lots of leftovers today. So it's um, chicken sandwiches all round today for lunch. But I'm going to eat that in here while I unbox some of the bits that I received over the last couple of days with you. I hope you guys don't mind seeing unboxings. I love the fact that the brands that I have worked with throughout the year um, think to even send out these lovely kind of like more festive parcels. I love receiving them. These are all very festive so hopefully we'll get you in the Christmassy mood. Um, but yeah, by the way, that's one thing I forgot to mention earlier. Um, obviously we are now halfway through Vlogmas, I can't believe it. But yeah, I really hope you've been enjoying um, my Vlogmas so far. Let me know if there's anything that you would still like to see, maybe in the next half of Vlogmas. I do have some things planned. Um, tomorrow I'm going to have a baking day at home, so baking some Christmas goodies with you lot. And um, yeah, but let me know if there is anything specifically that maybe... Um, you haven't seen yet and you would like to see because the more ideas for me guys the better and I obviously just want to make videos that you want to watch but anyway let's start with the unboxing right so kicking things off I opened this parcel and honestly I was so excited let me um read the little letter that came with it first so it's from Clarins it says please find enclosed a token of gratitude for your support this year we loved working with you, a Clarins UK tradition. These crackers have been exclusively created just for you and are not available at retail. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas. We look forward to working together again. All our love, the Clarins UK team. Oh, they've all signed it. This is just so, so cute. And we have some gorgeous crackers. Look at the design on them. They are so lovely. I actually kind of want to open one just to look at it because that is so nice let's get one out let's get a couple oh oh they've got some weight to them oh my god look how beautiful these are oh my god these are so cute as it says on the letter unfortunately you can't buy these but i did just want to show them to you because i just think 
I love things like that. Things are just a little bit different. I think I'm going to save these and use these uh, on Christmas Eve because we are having a nice dinner Christmas Eve as well. So I think these will be really nice to pop out on the table. Oh, it does say on the back what's in them. Let me tell you what's inside them. So we've got the Clarins Double Serum, the Clarins Tonic Candle, Clarins Treatment Fragrance, Clarins Rouge Lipstick. I feel sorry for uh, Andy and his dad around our Christmas Eve table. <laughs> I'm sure they'll make use of a nice Clarins Rouge Lipstick. Clarins Total Eye Hydrate. Oh, here we go. Clarins Men Energising Eye Gel. One of them will be happy. It'll be absolutely fine. They're gorgeous. Thank you so much, Clarins. I'm over the moon with them. And then next up, how beautiful does this look? I am so excited to open this. So this is from my amazing Forever New team. I absolutely love working with Forever New. They are a brand that I discovered this year. They're originally in Australia. They came to the UK and I've worked with them several times over the last sort of 12 months. And yeah, they're a really great team. The PR team behind them is really, really lovely. How lovely to receive this Christmas present. I almost don't want to open it. It's too nice to open, but I'm gonna open it, guys. I'm not gonna show you that. I can't sit and look at this until Christmas. Oh, it's got AC on the tag. Right, let's get into this. I'm sure my wrapping is not going to look anywhere near as good as this. I'm not the world's best wrapper in both senses. Oh, I went upside down. Oh, I think I'm upside down. Oh my gosh. So, got this box. Let's see what's inside. Dear Alex, happy holidays. Please find enclosed your forever festive gift from Forever New. We can't wait to see how you style them. Love the Forever New Europe team. Oh, I love them. Oh my God, first of all, there's a diptyque candle. So I'm already happy. I love diptyque candles. Oh my gosh, I wonder which one this is. Does it say, does it say, does it say? Sorry, I need to open this. I know I'm keeping you all in suspense, but. I adore, oh my gosh, I can smell it through the packaging. Oh my God. I just love Diptyque. Oh, oh my gosh. That smells so sexy. Oh, that smells like a, like a bedroom candle. Oh, that is lovely. Actually, I think that might be quite nice in here when we've got the fire on. It's definitely got a bit of a kind of manly, woody kind of smell. Bougie, oh, I think that's what it's actually called, bougie. That is delightful. That is beautiful. I'm well happy with that. And here, oh my gosh. Oh my God, I love Forever New stuff. We have this beautiful, it's like a waffle knit. This cream, if I bring it up to the camera so you can see. You see the kind of knit that is, oh my gosh. Now I had already planned some Christmas day outfits, but I feel like this is 100% got to feature now. This is 100% a Christmas day outfit. Beautiful cream dress. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. I already know the fit of this is going to be beautiful. So let's do a try on of that in a minute. And I'll pop that down here. Oh wow. Oh wow, we have another Christmas day outfit here. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. This velvet black blazer. Oh my goodness me. That is just, oh. in the words of Leonora, that is just perfection, as she would say. That is just beautiful. Imagine this with, a, <laughs> this is what we do here. If you're new here, I have to always give you the vision. Imagine this, slick back bun, red lip, gold jewelry, black trousers, killer black heels, maybe killer black heels with a red sole. That is a vibe. I would just wear this on its own, quite sexy with a nice low deep V blazer, maybe some nice 
You can maybe have a nice kind of, you know when people have their underwear but on show, if they're wearing like a nice bra or something. I mean, I'd just go with that to be honest, get a bit of booby tape and you're good to go. But that, oh my God, I'm so happy with that. So happy. Okay, this Christmas day outfits haul is about to get a whole lot better because we just got two new contenders. Wow. Thank you so much to my forever new... I, I, I say this as if they're watching. I hope they're watching. But yeah, thank you so much. But, oh, those pieces are just beautiful. Gorgeous. I've been joined by my two little elves for this unboxing. We all know what usually happens when you're around for unboxings and I'm sat on the floor. They grab their toys, they squeak them, they go wild. Are we going to be calm? Right, I need you to hold up your paw and swear to me you're going to be calm. Thank you. <laughs> right, we have got here, oh, can see, you literally pushed through then to see what I was doing. I've got a gorgeous stocking here. I'm so excited. <laughs> and it's from the lovely Space NK team. So as a thank you for your love and support this year, we wanted to make your beauty dreams come true Please enjoy the enclosed early Christmas beauty gift as a token of our appreciation. Which is just so lovely. Oh, look, and, and this is full. This is a very full stocking. So I'm very excited about it. The dogs are sat here as if it's a stocking for them. You're gonna be really disappointed, guys. I'm sorry. No, we've got no treats in here for you guys. So we've got this hot chocolate spoon. Oh, maybe we have they slated dogs. Well, not you. This is death to you. You can't have that, I'm sorry. We've got in here, this is all obviously Space NK goodies. Oh gosh, my lips are really dry from since having a cold. They're struggling a little bit. We have the Space NK Nordic Wilds Body Oil. Oh, that look, I bet that smells. Smell that. Oh, maybe if my nose wasn't blocked. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, I do love a body oil. Black pepper, juniper berry and tonka bean with jojoba, is it jojoba or jojoba <laughs> or jojoba? Somebody tell me the pronunciation in there. I feel like there's at least one word per vlog. We should have done a vlogmas um, bingo. Every single vlog I mispronounce something. We, it's like some sort of bingo or a shot game. And avocado oil. That is absolutely lovely. Let's pop that down there. We've got oh, a little candy cane. Oh, from Wren. There's the Evercalm Overnight Recovery Balm. I do use this. This is a really lovely product. I've actually gifted a couple of my friends this product in the past and got them onto it. Do you know what I love using this for? It's a very, very rich moisturiser. If your skin has, for any reason, become damaged, dry, I don't know, um, burned, like even sunburn. It's a really, really lovely product. I love using this after a flight, after I've been ill, if my skin's just a little bit meh. Lovely. What else have we got in here? Oh, the Spice NK Shimmering Spice Candle. Let's have a smell. Oh, that's cute. Little gold. That will go very nicely in here. I'm going to pop that there on my coffee table. Oh. Smells lovely. She can go right there. Straight into a new home. Oh, we've got the Vive. Do you know what? I've been wanting to try this. Vive Skin Nova Instant Radiance Primer. Let me know if any of you guys are Vive fans. Nail berry. Nail varnish. Okay. I'll let you two come in here because you're going to be calm. And now one of you has done something. One of you has let something gassy out. Right. You're killing the vibe. You're really killing the Christmas vibe. I have no words for you two. I need to smell this candle. I need that smell out of my nostrils. I've got a blocked nose and I could still smell that, you dirty dogs. <laughs> anyway, Laura Mercier, caviar, caviar, caviar volume panoramic mascara this is a great stocking can i just say oh my god yes we've got the nars orgasm eyeshadow palette oh my gosh how good is this christmas stocking guys i don't think i'm going to be able to follow this when i'm 
put in my own Christmas stockings together. Gosh, from Milk, we've got the Pore Eclipse Setting Spray, Tory Birch Perfume. What else is in here? We've got a cleanser. Oh my gosh, it keeps going. Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, that's a lovely product. Hair by Sam McKnight, Cool Girl, Barely There Texture Mist. I do like a texture mist. Wow, that was one full Christmas stocking. Oh my God, I absolutely loved opening those. Wow, I hope that got you a little bit more into the Christmas spirit because it definitely did with me. I'm feeling so, so spoiled opening these. Honestly, I feel like Christmas has come early after that. But anyway, I am now going to head upstairs and as promised, I'm gonna do a bit of a try on and show you guys, bless you, and show you guys some Christmas day outfits, just for some inspo. So let's head upstairs now and do that. Okay, I've just popped my ring light on because it's already dark outside. Honestly, guys, I don't know where, just, oh, these wintry days, honestly, barely any daylight. So hopefully this light is okay, but I have just popped this dress on from um, Forever New that they sent me today. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. The material, that kind of waffle material. This is such a good Christmas day dress. It's a gorgeous fit, but it's got a good stretch to it, so it's not uncomfortable. I've actually just left this on with my slippers because, to be honest, I, <laughs> this is probably what I'll actually be wearing. I'm just, this is like no lies. So we're hosting Christmas this year. I'll be in the kitchen cooking or pouring drinks, looking after people. I'm not going to be trotting around in heels and boots. I'm in my own house. These slippers are gonna be on my feet, but I just wanted to be real and show you how this dress would look if you're in the same position as me and you want to look nice, but let's be realistic as well. I wanna be comfortable. I'm gonna be standing hidden behind my kitchen island. I don't need to wear heels, but this dress, oh, this is definitely a good contender for Christmas Day with a red lip as well. I felt this would be gorgeous. Let me quickly pop some boots on just to show um, what it would look like without slippers. So I've popped it on with some tan boots. These ones are just from Zara. Of course, I've had to bring out the new YSL bag. I just, oh, these colors together. This is just such a cute, wintry vibe. I love these colours like this. I actually think, I know this is only the first outfit, but I actually think this has got to be like my day dress of Christmas Eve. I might change into something different, maybe on, actually no, not Christmas day, maybe Boxing Day evening. I might wear something a little bit more glam, but Christmas day, I mean, our plans for Christmas Day are to have breakfast, open presents, dog walk, um, I'll make dinner, we always pop to the pub down the road, we'll have a glass of champagne in the pub and see everyone, come home, eat dinner, and then it's very chilled. I think this would be a perfect outfit for that. Oh my gosh, this is definitely, definitely a contender. I really, really love this, guys. Really love this. Okay, this is another look that I would definitely wear on Christmas Day. I feel like Christmas Day, it's, you've got to find that right balance, haven't you? It's, the dress code is cosy glam. At least it is in my house anyway. So finding that balance between still being cosy and comfortable, but feeling glam, I think is the, that's the perfect mix for me. So I would wear something like this, perhaps have my hair back and show my shoulders really gorgeous glittery jewelry just to add a little bit of sparkle this is giving me like champagne vibes the champagne colored skirt it's still really modest but you've just got this little little glimmer of you know femininity with having your shoulders collarbone out yeah this is definitely my kind of vibe um this off the shoulder jumper is from Abercrombie. They do this in multiple colours, but to be honest, I really like it in um, in cream. Um, and this gold, oh, gorgeous gold satin 
midi skirt is actually just from New Look, but it's so comfortable. It's elasticated around the waist, so you've got room for your Christmas dinner in there. And then I've actually teamed this with some cream boots. They've got kind of like a croc print on them. Because of the length of the skirt, certain shoes will date a skirt this length. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So as you can see with these boots, the thing that does it and makes this still feel young and not young, that's perhaps the wrong word, but I'd say current is what I'm trying to say, not young. Um, Cause I'm not saying that people older than myself can't wear this look. I mean more current, that's what I'm trying to say. So the thing that does it with this skirt is you don't want to wear a heeled shoe that shows any flesh. You don't want there to be a break between the skirt and the boot. Um, number one, it's gonna cut your legs off and make your legs look shorter. But you just want that flow of fabric throughout the whole body. That's why I've actually teamed it with a jumper that's off the shoulder. Because if I'd put a big woolly neck, you know, high neck jumper on, there's nothing really glam about that. Showing the bit of skin up here is just where I decide, you know, that's where I like to show off um, my skin. And then it just, as I said, it keeps the look still current. But let me show you how different this looks with a different shoe. So this isn't actually the example I was looking to show you, but just to show you a different shoe. So I've just popped on a pair of cream heels. And to be honest, this looks okay. It feels a little bit wedding-y with the skirt and the heels. Again, it's not my favorite way to wear these skirts, but in case you wanted the option. But anyway, let me get the boots I was gonna show you. So aside from the fact that these shoes are black and I would usually go for something a little bit more neutral with this look, they look a little bit bottom heavy. Why is this turned into a, <laughs> a fashion styling segment? I can't help myself, can I? But can you see where there is a gap and there's some skin on show? And it just makes the look feel a little bit disjointed. Now, I'm not saying that the fashion police are gonna come for you if you wear an ankle boot like this with a skirt like this. I just like to offer a way that, in my personal opinion, is just more universally flattering on all body types. Even on the longest, slimmest legs in the world, doing this with your outfits, all it's doing is chopping your legs and yeah, it's just, it's not as visually pleasing to look at. So yeah, just a little tip. If you are feeling like you want to go for maybe like your ankle boot or something like this, go for a knee high boot or even a heel or a wedge. I promise it will look better. But anyway, this is another option for Christmas day, not with these boots, but yeah, let me pop on the next outfit. If the skirt is not for you, then you can easily team this um, top with trousers, as I have done here. And I've just popped on my little heel again with this. This is definitely a little bit more me, but I know not everybody likes to wear kind of um, trousers. They might feel a little bit formal in them, but this is just a way to actually, I'm gonna untuck this actually. I don't like how that looks tucked in, let's just. So what I would actually do with wearing this on Christmas day is 100% add a red lip. It's very neutral, the bottom half feels quite, you know, workwear vibes. I know we've kind of softened it up with the top, but I would add a red lip because cream, beige, red, the red lip is just going to absolutely pop. This is definitely a little bit of me on Christmas day. Okay, I feel like you can't possibly get through Christmas without a little bit of sequins popping up every now and then but if you are like me and maybe not the biggest fan of wearing perhaps a full ball gown of sequins um this might be a great option for you so these shorts how gorgeous are they they look they probably look black but they are actually a really dark navy blue so i feel like these will look really great with black as i'm wearing now or cream this kind of navy blue will complement both but I've gone for a darker look because it's definitely a little bit more me this might be something maybe you get changed into for the evening for some drinks maybe a nice cheese board the shorts are only from Tesco for my non UK followers you that might go over your head Tesco is essentially a UK supermarket chain um, but they have their own fashion line 
called FNF and I recently worked with FNF over on Instagram and this was part of the um, collab that I, deal, um, that I did with them and oh my goodness me was I impressed with these shorts I just love them I hope you can see how sparkly they are but they're so cozy not cozy comfy because they're elasticated around the waist yeah these are a really great option or even boxing day Christmas Eve evening if you're doing something um, I've popped them on with tights and then I have just popped them on with my little black heels these ones are from Zara I've had these for a few years now um, actually no I haven't I got them about I think I got them two years ago um, but yeah they're such a good option because they're so comfortable I love the silver little buckle detail perfect for Christmas and then I've actually just popped on a really plain black top pretty sure this one is from I want to say it's new look it's just a plain black really fine knit top but you could really go to town with this outfit there's so many options that you could wear with this on the top but yeah this is just this is what I would consider the cozy glam I'm still really comfortable and you know I'm still wearing something knitted but it adds the shorts just add that little bit of party party do you know what I mean but yeah this is um, this is definitely a great option for Christmas Day maybe not to go on your cozy cute dog walk in the morning might get some strange looks if you're you know trotting down to the pub in this outfit with your dogs but hey when you come home and the cheese board needs to come out and yeah this is the perfect option again a red lip with this would look great just make sure you go for a red lip that has a blue undertone because that's going to go really nicely with the blue shorts yeah let me know what you think guys so this was non-intentional i didn't mean to actually show you another forever new dress but yeah just as proof that i do love them that much had to show you this gorgeous short black dress this is like i know this isn't the most girliest of dresses but i love my black dresses even at christmas and um, what i have done with this uh, I would actually wear the other shoes with this, with a little silver detail on the bottom, but I wanted to show you a slightly different look, so I'm just wearing these black um, sock boots. This dress for me is a perfect option. I love the kind of slight A-line fit of it. It does just give that slightly girly edge. You've got the very cute little, well, they're not actual pockets, but faux pockets there at the front. And I have actually just added a black bow at the back i know these are super trendy at the moment so i did want to incorporate you know at least one trend um in case you have invested in a bow for your hair for the christmas season i think this is a really nice way to wear it this is personally how i would wear it with something perhaps not super girly to the, this kind of balance makes me feel the most comfortable but yeah this is definitely something that i would pop on maybe Christmas day evening for some drinks to play some games or if we were going around our friend's house this is yeah definitely a look that I would go for um, I will try to link this dress on forever new if it's still available I'm really hoping it is but this little bow that I've gone for is actually just from H&M so super affordable you could go for maybe a red bow or green um, and again a red lip would never ever go amiss but I'm about to put on that new blazer that they sent me and I think I'm going to change my lipstick to a red lip um, yeah so I'm going to pop that on now considering I was stuck on the sofa less than 48 hours ago unable to move because I felt so ill this is quite the turnaround isn't it <laughs> I was literally just laughing to myself and I was looking in the mirror like you 48 hours ago could see you now but this is the unbelievable forever new blazer this is just gorgeous it's the perfect fit it's oh it's got a label on I need to pull off let's just pretend that's not there for now but it's got this slight fit to it you can see it kind of nips in at the waist just a little bit I've also just realized the trousers are from forever new guys I told you I've been really loving them this year but this velvet oh my gosh I love it You'll see I did pop on the red lip. So the red lip I love, this is the best combo. 
It's uh, a MAC lip liner in the colour Brick. And the lipstick, so the lipstick is a Tom Ford lipstick. And it's called Rouge à Livre. And I will show you it close up in a minute. But to tell you the truth, my, um, my lips are very dry from, from being ill. So they don't look the best. But it's honestly the most gorgeous Christmassy red. So yeah, I am... Really enjoying this outfit, really enjoying this outfit. This is a, the cooking's done, give me a glass of champagne outfit. This is a Mrs. Claus will see you now outfit. It's that vibe, isn't it? I just adore this. I love that it's still, it's not over the top Christmassy, don't get me wrong, but I think with the red lip, you know, it adds, and the velvet, I think, adds the Christmas vibe, doesn't it? But this is just, this is a look. This is a bit of me. This, I think this might be me on maybe Boxing Day. Maybe Boxing Day evening or even Christmas Day evening. I think this will be me. The red lip is definitely coming out, though, at Christmas. It's been far too long since I wore a red lip and I've missed it. I used to love a red lipstick. I used to always love a red, a red lipstick and I don't know why I just stopped doing it, but now is the time. Tis the season. Please excuse if you can see any um, rough looking lips, but as I said, they are crumbling. They're literally crumbling off my face, but I thought I'd give you a little bit of a closer look at this red lip. Rouge et Livre, I will link it in the description box. It's that perfect blue undertone red that makes your teeth look whiter rather than more yellow. Um, some reds can make your teeth look yellow, which isn't the vibe, is it really? But yeah, a blue undertone red is what you need. And this is just the perfect one. Perfect for the Christmas season. I am absolutely loving this blazer. This is definitely a new firm favorite. I really am trying to rack my brain to see if there's an event that I could wear this to. Because, or maybe even a New Year's Eve outfit. This could definitely be a New Year's Eve vibe. If you're like me and feel more comfortable in a power suit as opposed to a dress, this will be your vibe. It seems far too much of a shame to take this lovely red lipstick off and this outfit. So yes, you best believe I've come downstairs and I'm gonna eat my dinner in this outfit. Andy's gonna look severely underdressed. <laughs> we're not even having anything special. I think we're having jacket potatoes with some cheese and beans and some salad very overdressed for dinner and I don't care but I am actually going to end this vlog here guys so I will see you in tomorrow's vlog where we're going to be doing some festive baking and possibly cooking basically I'm about to pop out to the shops and well after I've had my dinner might take the red lipstick off to go around the shops and this outfit I need to pop out to grab a few little last minute ingredients so tune in for tomorrow's vlog because as we all know, I'm not the best baker. I'm expecting some epic fails, but maybe I can turn a corner this year. Who knows, keep your fingers crossed. And yeah, if you want to see some festive baking at home, join me in tomorrow's vlog. But for now guys, I am going to say goodbye and leave it here. So as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.